So it's very hard to explain the evolution of our solar system. When you do computer models of solar systems, you don't tend to get four rocky planets to close to the sun and four big gas giants further out. They tend to form these big gas giants and migrate inwards towards the star. So in almost all the computer simulations, just because you've got this big gas giant orbiting in all the dust around the star, they tend to drop inwards. And it looks like Jupiter did that. So it looks like it formed and came in and came in almost to where Mars orbits today and cleared out the region around Mars actually, which is maybe the reason Mars is so small compared to the other, to, to Venus and Earth. Oh. But then Saturn was coming in as well. In the computer models, the interaction between Jupiter and Saturn stopped Jupiter coming in before it gets to the Earth and they both get dragged out again <laughs> and so to where they are today. And so that seems to be, it's one of the best theories for the evolution of our solar system. So what are the chances? The chances of that are so minuscule.